What's up guys, this is Brad and Jason from Lakes Walking RV Center. We wanted to make you a quick how-to video for how to use your Lippert Ground Control Electric 3.0 uh, leveling system. I'm going to show you how to use it real quick and then go over a little bit of troubleshooting if needed. So real quick, what we want to do, the first thing, we're going to power up our touch panel. So we want to look and it says, ready, our jacks are down. So we want to take a quick look, we'll take a step back, we'll come here. So what we want to look for is first we want to make sure that our jacks are going to be clear to where they, they can go down and touch the ground. We also, with the electric leveling system, um, these jacks can only travel a certain distance before they have to touch something solid. Um, so we want to make sure these jacks are not going to have to extend more than about eight inches or so before they touch the ground or your pads. Um, so. Everything looks good here. We want to do a quick walk around. Of course, we've already have, but make sure your steps up and everything like that. We'll come up here to these front jacks. With the electric style, we want to make sure that our front legs are going to have plenty of travel. So we don't want to drop these all the way down where our legs can't travel. We want to make sure we have plenty of travel right here. So we have that on the front too. So we can come back over here to the touch panel. So. Once we power it up, if our rear jacks are down, we can go down and we can go to retract rear. That's going to be the first thing right here. We'll hit enter. That way we can retract our rear jacks and now we have uh, the capability of doing using the leveling system. So we've already done that. So what we're going to do is we'll just turn, come here. We'll hit our auto level. Boom. Just like that. If we look at that screen, it's going to start telling us all the things that it's doing. So as it shows, grounding left front. So as it's doing this without actually pushing buttons, uh, quickly go over some potential troubleshooting, what you might have to do if it's giving you an error code, which is more than likely going to be from too much travel. Yep. So yeah. But, so one of the things is going to be uh, out of stroke or something like that. That's going to be from the, the, the legs traveling too far without hitting something solid. So like we talked about, they can only travel about eight to nine inches or so before they touch something solid. That pressure is what sends back to the control box in there to let it know you know, how far it needs to travel, things like that. So if, if it throws an out of stroke code, what we need to do is we need to retract all the jacks and then we need to make sure we put something solid under the jacks where they only have to travel that, that eight inches or less. Um, so you may get a error for left front, right front, um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's that jack that's messed up. That's just the, the error from the, the stroke on that. So we have that and then there's really not much else. Um, so if we wanted to reset a zero point, so basically like if we were out of level, we hit auto level and it went through the process um, and all the jacks were down, but we didn't feel like the unit was level. Um, what we can do is we can come in here, we can scroll down, which we can't do it now because it's running through everything, but we'd scroll down to manual mode. Once we get to manual mode, we'd hit enter. From there, we'd take our level, we'd put it at the front door, and we'd kind of go through front, extend, you know, whatever we needed to do to actually manually level it. Once we did that, we'd make sure our touch panel's turned off, the screen would be black, then we would hit front 10 times, rear 10 times. On that 10th time, it's gonna come up on the screen, it's gonna say, zero point stability check press enter to begin you'll hit enter and then it's going to go through the process of thinking or whatnot and then it's going to tell you uh zero point set once the zero point is set it now knows what you just told it level is <laughs> um the, but the biggest thing we want to make sure like we talked about is the traveling of the jets in the front to make sure that we have plenty of travel available cool so we're waiting on this. It's just about there. So just kind of going through the motions. I think that pretty much covers just about everything. Um, there it is, auto level success. So if y'all have any questions, uh, if you bought a trailer from us and, and have any trouble, hopefully this video helps. If not, give us a call. And uh, if you're local, we do, uh, obviously we do service and we of course uh, are now doing mobile service as well so we can come and help you out with it. Um, in the field. Thanks for watching.